Hello everybody, it's Alex here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add some social sharing uh, buttons to your WordPress website. These are especially useful um, for your SEO and things like that because you want people to share your content on Facebook and Twitter and, and Google and all that stuff. It's it's all good. So let's get started. Okay, I'm on the WordPress Eagle test site, so uh, I'm logged in. Let's go to the dashboard, and we're going to install a plugin to do this. Now there are many many plugins that offer this uh, functionality. So it kind of really is down to you, but I've picked one that I quite like, um, and that plugin is called uh, Dig Dig. So I'm just gonna go to plugins and add new. And then we're gonna do a search for Dig Dig. And click install. There is another one which is similar. So uh, if this one doesn't work for you, you can try that one as well. Okay, that's done, let's activate. Uh, and then we're gonna go into the settings and configure it. So you can find the settings down the left-hand side under Dig Dig, surprisingly. And let's have a look at the global config. Okay. So you can add your Twitter account here. That means you'll be mentioned when someone does a tweet. If you've got Buffer, you can enter that there, and Flatter, whatever that is. and all this other stuff you can fill it in. None of it's actually needed. Um, it's just there, not there if you need it, so I'll just save those settings. Now I'm gonna add the floating display because I like that one. Basically that means that the buttons sit on the left-hand side and they scroll up and down when people look around. So we'll add it to posts and pages just so that we can see. Um, here we select which buttons we want. I want Twitter, Buffer, not so much. Facebook, yep. And Google, yep and LinkedIn, why not? Okay, let's save that. So hopefully now we've got um, our social media. So let's just refresh, I'm looking at the homepage. I'm actually looking at the blog. Um, so, oh no, that is the homepage. So it's not added it to the homepage, but it should have added it to the um, the static pages. So this is page A. Oh, look, there it is. Um, so that's perfect, and as you can see, it, it kind of, um, isn't scrolling. That's weird. I think it's because it's a little bit, or maybe we didn't set it. Let's go back into settings and have a look. So enable floating display. Um, I wanna move it over a little bit because um, it's kind of overlapping the content. So let's reduce that down a bit. And let's move it down from the top a bit. Now hopefully that should scroll. Let's have a look. Let's refresh. So I did those pixels so that it moves it down the page, so it's down there now. It's probably because there's no content on this page. So let's um, have a look at this blog post here, which has got some content. There it is. Ah, there we go, look, it's scrolling nicely. So, But now it's a little bit too far over this way, so it needs to ideally go back that way. So. Maybe I need to increase this number. Let's put that number up and see. So these are just settings, you know, to get it sitting um, in the right location. So that should move it that way. Did a bit, not. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Um, hopefully you find that useful. Let me just test one of the buttons to make sure that it works. And I click the tweet. I need to sign in, but there you go, it's created the tweet for me. Okay, if you want some more videos, please subscribe, and I will see you soon. See you later.